Hey there, YouTube, and anybody else who happens to watch this. I uh, got a question sort of indirectly from, uh, looks like Macho Man Randy Savage, actually. Uh, anyways, he asked, he responded to Chris Coyer, who was tweeting about how he does podcasts and stuff, and asking how I do, uh, how he does, and how we do the chapter markers and accompanying images for Shop Talk Show and, or maybe Code Pen Radio, I'm not sure which one he listens to. But, uh, so I thought I'd quit record a quick video showing how I do that. So my editor of choice, my DAW, Digital Audio Workstation of choice is Logic. There's probably other ways, other apps you can do this in, uh, but I'm just going to cover the way I do it. Um, while I'm recording or editing a podcast, sorry, I use the marker functionality inside of Logic. So if you don't see that already, you might have to choose this little drop down here. Sometimes um, by default, all of these other things are turned on. So if you set up a template inside of Logic, that's the best way to do this. So you don't have to turn these off each time because it's kind of handy just to have the one so you don't actually add signature markers and transposition markers along the way. And so this particular episode I've finished editing and it has chapter markers in it, but I would just basically go along. I would uh, choose a spot where I wanted to add a marker, hit marker and put this is a marker or whatever kind of description and whatever I put there is what's going to be listed on the uh, podcast player for a chapter. You can move them around in here uh, as well if you need to adjust later. Um, it's also important to notice note that, so I'm just going to delete that one so I don't screw this up, um, that if you select say a bunch, if you use uh, command shift, no shift F, command F, what is it, shift F? Yeah, shift F. Right, so say grab everything to the right of your cursor and you move some audio around, it's going to move the chapter markers with it, or it should. You just want to make sure that it does actually select that. Uh, so let's undo. There we go. Now when I export, I'm going to bounce the project or selection. So in this case, I'm doing the entire project. In WAVE format I use, you could use, I think you can use AIFF, but uh, I use WAVE. Uh, with those settings, uh, default settings, I believe. Um, and then, so just to skip a, a step here, that then gives me a nice, simple one one file, everything bounced. I'm not going to cover audio leveling and all that kind of stuff. That's all, all part of what I did in the episode, but just for chapter markers' sake. So that file itself now has all the chapter markers inside of it. So I can, then I use a program called Forecast, uh, made by Marco Arment, creator of Overcast. And I'll just drag this into there. It's actually going to encode it as an MP3 while I do this. It does it really fast. And because I have, I've been using the same file naming format, Realtalk.js in this case, dash, and then the episode number, it fills in, because I've done this before, the podcast title automatically, episode title, so that I could change this to whatever the actual title uh, of the episode is supposed to be as well as the description of the episode goes here. And then you can see down here, I've got all the chapter markers that I put in inside of uh, Logic ready to go. You can adjust things if you really wanted to. I, I generally don't because it, it'll uh, mess up what I did <laughs> in Logic. Uh, one nice thing that uh, using Forecast will do is it'll actually notice if there's a gap. So in uh, Preferences for Forecast here, you can choose um, Obviously, the MP3 encoding message method, I'm using all of processor cores. There's a sponsor chapter prefix, so you'll notice here I've got sponsor, colon, and progress. So then it knows that that's a sponsor spot, and um, I can use an export. I'll show that in a second. But what's neat about uh, Forecast is there's a check, basically, where it checks for it. It alerts you if there's any amount of silence in the track, just because you know maybe you move some audio around and you left a gap by accident. It'll catch that. If there's no music, nothing talking, you know, nobody talking, etc. It'll catch that and give you a little warning just so that you don't upload an MP3 with like a big gap of audio of blank airspace. The uh, air check part is where it adds five seconds before and after each sponsor. So then I can go up to file and export sponsor air checks and just throw this on the desktop. That will give me, uh, you can see here, I've got two MP3s uh, files created, which are just the sponsor spot from this podcast. Yeah, I can version them independently but now I'm managing, you know, dozens of functions. Let's take a quick break for a word from our sponsor. Are you building a web application? So that's a way you could very easily... A product on problems that aren't best suited for that. So while serverless may not be the thing you need all the time, right now we need an ad. So let's take a minute for a word from our sponsors. 
So if you wanted to be able to send just the sponsor spots to a sponsor for preview or just for verification that you included them or whatever, uh, besides doing any sort of time code stamp and stuff, that gives you the way just to get that audio right out of there very quickly. So that's super cool. The other thing you can do inside of Forecast is throw a link in here. So um, I don't have the link handy, but whatever it was um, for that sponsor spot. And then also you can add an image. So there again, if I go just grab, um, let's use Shop Talk logo for fun. Oops, grab that. Drag that in. And then that's how an image would appear. So I could also I grab this off on Splash. I could throw this on, on a different chapter. And then when I save this now, just save it to the desktop and it's done. I can then, using Mojave, Mojave's uh, preview mode, you can actually see um, the chapter markers inside of the preview. And so you can see the images are there, sponsor, image there, etc. Skip ahead to that part. So you, you talked about the bounds in terms of time, how long the thing can. So while serverless may. The preview doesn't actually show the um, image in here, but it does in the podcast player. So. And then for uh, bonus marks, if you want to also include that those chapter markers on your website, so like obviously having them in the embedded in the MP3 is great. But if your website supports time jump or uh, linking directly to time codes, your podcast player app may vary in terms of its support. But if you go in Logic here, I can go to open my marker list. Move that over here. I can highlight them all and Command C to copy that text. And then I actually got a guy from from CodePen Radio. Uh, Phil, sorry, he's on CodePen, um, and he created this little thing for me to automatically create a nice markdown list of show notes. So then you can copy that obviously into um, you can convert that to HTML if you want, or you could paste it right into a markdown supported uh, editor. And then the web side of your your podcast also has all the time codes and short codes and stuff. So that link for this uh, code pen pen will be in the show notes or in the show notes <laughs> in the uh, description below the video. And of course, you can also, if you're so inclined, check out my website, lemonproductions.ca. If you want to hire me to do podcast consulting, editing uh, work for you, I've just recently worked with a couple of folks, one of them who found me through YouTube, uh, uh, just giving them an hour of like just consulting time on how to figure out what they should do next with their podcast. One guy was applying for a podcasting job and talked with him about that um, ideas and things for to help him you know, do a better job in his job interview. So um, yeah, happy to help you out. If you are so inclined, reach out to me. There's a contact form obviously right there and get in touch or follow me on Twitter. I'm iChris on Twitter and happy to make silly videos in response to questions from people like Macho Man. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and do all the YouTubes. Thanks. Bye.